Here's a quick little um, thingy I figured out about the MS-20 Mini. Um, I really like the filters on the synthesizer, so much so in fact that I often find myself wanting to use the filters with a different synthesizer and I know it's not a big secret how to do this but um, I still haven't found like a good tutorial for this or anything so I figured I'd just make one and maybe this is helpful to somebody. Um, we have a microboot here that I would like to filter through this machine because the, the microboot is just playing some arpeggio but the filter on the microboot I find actually I find it kind of lacking to be honest. I mean it's it's alright but it is nothing compared to um, the filters on the MS-20. So um, what I like to do is open the filter up all the way on the on the micro root then take the output of the micro root and what you can do is patch this into the so-called external signal in on the on the MS-20 but if you do this directly from the other synthesizer the signal often I don't think is, is strong enough uh, so it's either too quiet or it just doesn't sound powerful. So what you can do is you can use either of the two amplifiers on the MS-20, whichever one you happen to not use at the moment, um, to amplify the signal first. So I'm going to do this. The MS-20 is, by the way, just all standard. There is nothing, nothing patched on it right now. Um, so I'll go into the amplifier with my signal from the micro brute and I'll go out into the external signal in and now the signal should be strong enough. Of course to uh, make the signal stronger we have to control it so have something going into control input. What I like to do is patch this to the to the mod wheel and what that means is now when I turn up the mod wheel the signal should get louder of course for this to happen, we have to plug in the MS-20 first. And now, of course, when we open up the micro root, we have a signal again. And depending on how much I turn up the mod wheel, the louder it gets. I'll just leave it at maximum loudness. So now, of course, what you might notice is I have to press a key on the MS-20 for the sound of the microbrew to come through to my interface, which is, you know, not ideal. Um, but that is because, as you can maybe see on this little diagram, the external signal that gets into the MS-20 goes through both filters and also through the amplifier. Um, so, of course, for this to happen, the, the amplifier needs to be triggered via this trick in uh, port and the envelope needs to be open in some way. I'll just leave the sustain level up usually so uh, and this has to be open so when I close the envelope I stop hearing the MS-20 and I stop hearing the micro brute. So what we can do is to have basically the MS-20 triggering itself constantly is take a patch cable and we can use, for example, I like to use this pink noise of the noise generator and plug that into the trig in. What that does is it just generates a random like waveform and as soon as the trig in receives any kind of signals or any kind of waveform really, it acts as if I had just pushed a button. So now what happens is um, the envelope opens, the amplifier uh, also lets the signal of the micro root through. But as you might hear, I can also hear the oscillators of the MS-20 when I do that. So it's important to turn those off here, not uh, on the envelope and of course not on the master volume. You have to actually turn each individual envelope off. And now what I can do is, since I have now only, uh, I'm now only hearing the, the micro root signal, I can now use the MS-20 filters. which I think, as I said, I find them to be much nicer. Of course, they're lacking the, the brute factor, 
but still, I mean, I really like them. And since we have uh, not patched a lot of things, uh, which was deliberate, we can now still use our MS-20 to make a sound. For example, this arpeggio that the microbeat is playing is a bunch of chords that all have E in them. So now I can turn up the oscillators on the MS-20, for example. And now they're, they're just playing this droning noise, which is any note that I tell it to. And since the chords all go with E, we'll just hit E. And now if we turn the arpeggio back up, we can hear both things and they're kind of harmonizing with each other and it's nice. Um, and since we've left so much possibilities open on the MS-20, since we didn't use a lot of patching, we can still take, for example, the, the, the modulation generator and I don't know, patch it to, to something. So, for example, the, the color frequency, say. Of course, I didn't need to patch this, but anyway. And now our modulation is going. And also, I can um, just modulate the, the control voltage of the oscillators or whatever. I still have a, a lot of possibilities open with the MS-20. So, as I said, I hope this is helpful to somebody. Uh, this is the first kind of tutorial that I've done and the first kind of tutorial I've seen of somebody patching another synthesizer through the MS-20. If you have any questions or something, um, you can just leave a comment and I'll, I'll try to answer it as best as I can. And I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you found it helpful. Take care.